Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. TGIW. Here, today, we're going to learn what do acids do. And we're going to learn what bases are. We're going to learn both those things today. So, in previous lectures, we learned what even are acids. And we learned that they're salts where the cation is a hydrogen ion. Yeah? And there's different kinds of acids. There's organic acids where that hydrogen ion is hooked up to some organic molecule, carbon-based molecule. There's halide acids where the hydrogen ion is hooked up to one of these halogens right here. And then there's polyatomic ion acids where the proton is hooked up to some polyatomic anion, which is one of these things here. Yeah. And then in the next lecture, we learned what's so special about hydrogen ions. And we learned that a hydrogen ion is nothing but a proton. Yeah. So, what even are acids? They're salts where the positive ion is a hydrogen ion, but now we know that the positive ion is actually just a bare naked proton. That's what it is. And that's what's special about acids, is that their cation is a pure proton. So what does that allow them to do? That's what we're talking about today. And what's it have to do with bases? What even are those? Yeah? So let's say we got a container of water here, and this is a container of water before something happens, chemical change. And this is the container of water after the chemical change happens. Yes? So let's say we take some acid. And we're going to make this acid look like this. So we got a hydrogen ion and then we got a chloride ion. Yeah. So that would have a chemical formula like that. It's a salt. And if we named it, we'd have to go back to our naming rules for acids and we'd see that the anion, the name always has to do with what the anion is because the cation is always the same. So in this case, the anion is a halogen. So it's a halide acid. So halide acids always start with hydro. And then the root of the anion, chlorine, would be chlor. And then I'd add ic, hydrochloric, and then I'd add acid. So this is hydrochloric acid. And just to keep track of it, I'm going to highlight the proton there. Yes, which is to say the hydrogen ion, because they're the same thing. So inside of this water, of course, there's water molecules. So I'll draw just two of them just to like, so it's not too busy. So there's one water molecule. And... There's another water molecule, yes? So we're gonna take this hydrochloric acid and we're gonna put it into the water. And the reactive bit is gonna be this proton right here. So let's watch what that proton does. Let's say it interacts with this water molecule right here. Remember that this is two electrons, this is two electrons, this is two electrons, and this is two electrons right here for a total of eight shared valence electrons. Well, what's going to happen is this hydrogen is going to come in here and these electrons are going to be really attracted to it. So let's say these two electrons right here, here, let's draw this, H, H, these two electrons right here are going to turn into a bond and they're going to bond that hydrogen right there. So what happened is a proton got added to this molecule, but no electrons got added. And this molecule started out neutral. It started out with the same number of protons and electrons, 
but now it's got an extra proton and not an extra electron. So that means that this molecule is going to turn into an ion. And there's that hydrogen that we added right there. And this is an ion made of more than one atom. And we call ions that are made of more than one atom polyatomic ions. And sure enough, here's this ion that we just made. Its formula is H3O+, plus, and its name is hydronium. And this ion right here is going to be the ion that we're going to talk about every day for the rest of this unit because this ion right here is an indicator of the presence of an acid. Okay, so here we are with this hydronium. And of course, we got this chloride ion also. So I'll just draw that over here somewhere. Cl minus, that's just going to be dissolved in the water. That's going to be an aqueous chloride ion. And then we still have this other water molecule over here from our model. There's tons of water molecules in here, but I'll just draw that one to show that there's a bunch of water molecules left. Okay, so here we just modeled an acid reacting with water. And we did it in drawings. So next I want to be able to model that with a chemical reaction. So let's do it like this. Let's take our one reactant, which is hydrochloric acid, and we'll keep doing this so we can keep track of that proton right there. And that hydrochloric acid reacted with water. And they went on to form hydronium. And aqueous chloride and that's it actually yeah so the the rest of the water the water molecules that didn't react didn't take part in the reaction so we don't need to include them here this is just this water molecule right here yes okay that's good let me get rid of that because it kind of scares me right there that's good so this molecule right here behaved like an acid. And the reason it behaved like an acid is because it donated a proton or a hydrogen ion to this water right here. So that was the acid. And here's the cool part. The hydrochloric acid behaved like an acid because it donated this proton. But who did it donate it to? It donated it to this water molecule. So this water molecule behaved like a base. So that's what bases do. Bases accept protons. Who do they accept them from? Acids. That's right. Okay. So that's good. So what we can do, I'm going to add something over here on tomorrow's lecture, but not today. What we can do right now is we can summarize what we got so far with a little, uh, what do you call it when letters stand for stuff? An acronym, maybe? So we can say B, A, A, D, you know I'm bad. Bad, bad, with two A's, bad. It stands for bases accept protons. Remember, protons are hydrogen ions. They're the same thing. And acids donate protons. B, A, a, D, bad. Bases accept protons, acids donate protons. What do bases do? That's right, they accept protons. What are protons? That's right, they're hydrogen ions. What do acids do? That's right, they donate hydrogen ions, which is to say they donate protons. Well, you guys, I hope you like that little mini lesson right there. Hope you guys are doing good. And it's Wednesday, which is garbage.
Okay, I hope you guys got the garbage, unless it's not garbage day in your neighborhood.